what is Kyron Wilson? What you were asking earlier, Clive, what has Ronnie O'Sullivan got left? What has Kyron Wilson got left? This is a massive test of his character here. Two blows in the last frame, missing the red and 61. And then obviously a massive bit of fortune that his opponent had in going for a very reckless cross double. On the last red, in fact leaving Wilson snookered. Still, O'Sullivan rose to the challenge. He still had to pop the balls. Yeah, it has to be said, pink to yellow it was just a magnificent piece of cueing under pressure. Isn't piece of queuing required here? <laughs> that was asking a lot. his first in. And straight away. Okay, there's a two or three loose reds, but he must be tempted. He's just got a perfect angle on the black. He can stun into the, the right half of the pack. Even if he loses a cue ball at the table, there's that red over the left middle. I think he's got to play the shot. Played it to perfection. Oh. I can't believe that. Paro Wilson one, Ronnie O'Sullivan seven. It looks like he's not destined to win this match, Clive. Well, that was certainly a body blow, as was the last frame and the circumstances in which he lost it. this by a mile. I thought for a horrible second the ref was going to hit the black and go in the corner pocket. Yes, his queuing was slightly impeded but shouldn't have made too much difference. Chance for O'Sullivan. I think the two or three things that have happened to Kyron Wilson in the last ten minutes or so have knocked the stuffing out of him. One.
Foul. Oh, waistcoat foul, would you believe it? Ronnie O'Sullivan, one. Byron Wilson, five. Well, what's going to happen next <laughs> in this final? That's oh, so careless. I mean, he looked. He looked to see where his waistcoat was, and then he still got down and fouled it. Here we go. Whoa. Spotted by the referee, Paul Collio. O'Sullivan probably wouldn't have felt it. Oh. Karen Wilson's turn to play a specul speculative double. Okay, it wasn't anywhere near as reckless as the one Ronnie played in the previous frame, but got the double kiss in the red. He's left a pot to left middle. Quite a nasty shot this from the middle pocket jaw. He cured that well. That'll actually make him feel a bit better that shot. Six. Seven. Nice right, so little choices here, how hard he wants to hit this. Thirteen. Screwing the cue ball out, I think. Now he's going to land nicely on the colour. Well, the answer is absolutely Thank yes. You. Is that the shot that's going to lead to victory for Ronnie O'Sullivan? Can he enact re reprieve man syndrome? When Wilson was on 61 in the last frame, he must have thought he was going to lose in the next couple of minutes. 19. But he managed to win the frame, and now he's got the advantage in the decider. Well, he played a poor shot in the blue, though. This is missable. And that's safely in. 20. <laughs> you can physically see how hard Ronald Sullivan's trying here, putting everything into these shots. I don't know where he's found this victory from, but it looks ever more certain that he's going to find it. 25. He's been hugely helped, of course, by well, Karen missing that red on 61 26. in the previous frame and also couple of massive slices of good fortune. Karen Wilson was in first in this frame. Played the correct shot into the bunch. He was horrified to see a red go in the middle. But the way the reds are placed now... 33. You can't see a mistake. 34. Forty. Forty-one. Oh, watching Kyle Wilson in his chair and he looks devastated. It's going to take him a while to get over this one, I think. 
after such a great effort. Going from a big deficit to the brink of victory. Yeah, just one positional shot of that black. He left himself a tricky red on 61. 47. And from then on. You have to say, when he's one of the balls has been horrific. But. 48. You've got to give some credit to this man. He had to do the clearance in the last frame. And it looks very much like he's going to eke out this victory. 50 in front. Fifty-three. And that is the ball that seals Wilson's fight. Fifty-four. What an incredible match! At five-one to O'Sullivan, it looked like a runaway. Fifty-nine. At 8 5, he was comfortably ahead. 60. But at 9 8, he was on the brink of defeat and was rescued, at least in part, 67. by an outrageously kind run of the ball 68. when he rashly attempted the cross double on the last red. Full marks to O'Sullivan, though, for the way that he's taken this deciding 75. frame. Commiserations to Wilson, who so unluckily knocked the red into the middle pocket as he opened the bunch. Uh, of course, he's going to finish with a century. Eighty-five. Eighty-eight. It will be O'Sullivan's eleventh century of the tournament. Ninety-two. Ninety-seven. So there it is. 103. And Sullivan finishes in style of the century. The clearance of 110. He beats Carlin Wilson by 10 frames to 9 in the most dramatic of matches. He was almost out of it, but somehow he survived and he's gone on to become champion of champions for the third time. Disappointment for Wilson, of course. It would have been the highest profile success in his career. But at 26, he's got time on his side, and I'm sure that we're going to see him in contention for a lot more titles. So, O'Sullivan, five times world champion, six times UK, Ladies and seven gentlemen, times Masters, a tournament, has won a final. 66 you professional titles in team, all. The COO of Matru Multisport, Emily Fraser, and Madeline Binkley of title sponsors, Mambet X. First of all, your runner-up collecting a cheque for £50,000. Please put your hands together for Kyron Wilson.
Well, Karen, it was, uh, it was an incredible final, uh, and I think you must have felt you were almost over the line there. Um, but I think you'll take a lot of heart from the character you showed in this match today. Yeah, I was just awful all day, to be honest. I, I was just terrible. Um, fancy playing like that in the final. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's hard, you know, you're playing somebody that you've grown up watching, you know, who's my hero growing up, and um, it's difficult, you know, there's a lot of pressure out there, and I just wanted to make a bit of a fight of it, but, phew, you know, it was a bit of a sickness to lose like that. No, listen, you've got, a, I think you've made a whole lot of fans in here today, just with the way, as you say, the character you showed, the resilience, because you didn't let Runny run away with it, and he's done that before in the past, you hang on there. Oh, it's humiliating. He, he battered me in the English Open and, you know, at the interval um, at 6-3, I just thought, you know what, I just want to make a fight of it and give the fans something to cheer about and have a bit of a close match, so... Yeah. Well, you certainly did that. Um, and I think also at times today, we talk about not getting the rub of the green, you must have thought okay, occasionally the, soccer, the, soccer, <laughs> the snooker gods weren't quite with you. Yes and no, I mean... You know, Ronnie's, Ronnie's a great player. He let me off the hook quite a few times. So, you know, if I pop the red queuing over the pack, then I've, I've won the title. So, you know, it's my own fault, really. But you can take this form and, and the, the confidence you can take from this into Northern Ireland next week. Yeah, without doubt. You know, there's a lot of snooker still to be played. And, you know, you've got the UK, Northern Ireland and um, the Masters coming up. So, yeah, very exciting times. We wish you all the very best, ladies and gentlemen. Karen Wilson. And now, ladies and gentlemen, your winner collecting the check for £100,000 and the title of Manbet X, Champion of Champions 2018, The Rocket, Ronnie O'Sullivan! Well done, Ronnie. Um, your third Champion of Champions title, your 66th tournament win uh but my goodness me he made you work for it tonight didn't he uh you know you know what kyron just said there he's, he's right you know he, he, we both didn't play great and he should be allowed to say that you know people shouldn't see that as he's being disrespectful to me you know we have pride in our own performance as a professional and i know kyron can play better he knows i can play better so you know he, he didn't mean any uh, think bad by that. We just want to perform for the crowd, and you know that's that's the first priority really that everyone enjoys the snooker, including us. So, you know, um, I think that was a bit harsh on him there, the crowd, to be honest with you. But um, you know, for, for me, I'm just pleased to just be competing, and like I said, my main goal is just to come out here and try and enjoy it, play play with freedom, and if I win, I win. If I don't, I don't. But you know, it's just a game, and um, it's just nice to still be playing. <laughs> Well, listen, you're playing at times in the form of your life now. At times. At times. But listen, you know, you talk about champagne snooker and, and entertaining the crowd, but we enjoy as much as anything a drama, and we saw that tonight. And that penultimate frame, you must have thought that the, the, the tournament was away. Glad you enjoyed it, because I didn't. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That's like, you know, it's, it's hard out there. Like Karen said, it's really, there's a lot of pressure there and, you know, you just, it was tough, you know, but it's a great venue, great tournament, great crowd, you know, 16 of the best in the world, you know, this is what you get up for. So, um, you know, just great to be part of it. And, you know, if everyone's enjoyed it, then great. You know, I've, I've kind of enjoyed it and so has Kyron, you know, because we want to perform and, and, and play the best we can. But um, sometimes it's just about doing your best and we've both done our best today. And, you know, um, I was lucky today. He should have won that, really. Uh, that double day, I got away with it. Well, that was your reprieve, but then you finished it out. You're back on the trophy. That means you're definitely here next year as well. Yeah, yeah great. Well, I was, I was here anyway, because I won Shanghai, so... Of course, there you go, there you go. <laughs> so, um, I didn't need to win this, but I'll take it as well. And we'll no doubt see you uh, winning more this year, but off to Northern Ireland uh, tomorrow. Yeah, I'm not really looking forward to that, to be honest with you. Now, you, you really want three or four days off just to let it sink in, so, you know, I'll probably get a flight out there Tuesday morning and just uh, and, and go through the grind of that tournament, I suppose. It's, it's, that's the best way I can <laughs> explain it. Um, and then have a week off after that, or nine, ten days, and then just uh, get ready for the UK, I suppose. But, yeah, great. I love this tournament. You know, I, love, I love all your ITV events are class, so, you know, um, it's great to be a part of these, these events. Well, we love having you. Thank you very much indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, our champion of champions, Ronnie O'Sullivan. Title of Manbet X, 
champion of champions 2018, the Rocket, Ronnie O'Sullivan. Well done, Ronnie. Um, your third champion of champions title, your 66th tournament win. Uh, but my goodness me, he made you work for it tonight, didn't he? Uh, you know, you know what Kyron just said there. He's, he's right. You know, he, he, we both didn't play great, and he should be allowed to say that. You know, people shouldn't see that as he's being disrespectful to me. You know, we have pride in our own performance as a professional, and I know Kyron can play better. He knows I can play better. So you know, he, he didn't mean any uh, think bad by that. We just want to perform for the crowd, and you know, that's that's the first priority really that everyone enjoys the snooker, including us. So. You know, um, I think that was a bit harsh on him there, the crowd, to be honest with you. But, um, you know, for, for me, I'm just pleased to just be competing. And, like I said, my main goal is just to come out here and... Ronnie O'Sullivan enjoying the moment, the 2018 Champion of Champions. And after the break, we'll bring you some analysis with Stephen Hendry, Neil Folds, and Alan McManus.